Hi, welcome to Excel Rush. Today we are going to learn how to use the SUMIF and SUMIFS functions in Excel. For this, we will take a sample data of sales of fitness equipment. So this is the sample data. Now we want to figure out certain values. What we want to find is the sum of all sales that has happened in the city of Chicago. So essentially what we're trying to do is to try to find a sum of something based on a particular condition. For this, we will use the sum if function. So I used equal to sum if tab. The first thing it is telling me to use is a range. So I need to first figure out what is my condition. My condition is Chicago. Chicago is a city. Hence, I will take the H column as my range comma. I'll put the criteria as Chicago in double quotes, comma, and then I have to give the sum range, means summation of what? I want the summation of my sales, and hence I'm going to take the sell price as my sum range, close the bracket, enter. As simple as that, that gave me the total of all sales that has happened in Chicago. We'll take one more example very similarly so that you understand this again. Equal to sum if. Now we want to find the sales of customers whose gender is male. So if you look at this, this is the customer name, this is the gender, and this is the date of birth. Now let's use this column as my range. Comma, my criteria is male, comma, sum range again because i want the sum of sales i'm going to take the sale price column close the bracket enter as simple as that now what we will learn is the same exact example but instead of entering the criteria manually in double quotes i'm going to use this value itself as the criteria so i'm going to say sum if my range because it is speed rope that's the name of a product which is my SKU name comma, instead of putting speed rope in double quotes, I'm going to pick it up from you, comma, sum range, sum of all sales, enter. And that gives me the summation of all sales of speed ropes. Now what the next example says is, you want to find the sum of sales of speed ropes, but only in Chicago. So essentially, there are two conditions. One is a product, which is a speed rope, and city, Chicago. Now, because some if can only take one single condition, there is no possibility of giving two conditions here. We are going to use sum if S. Now, the primary difference between sum if and sum if S will be that the sum range, the output, sum of what? In sum if S has to be given first. Instead of sum if, where we were giving it last. So you take sum if s, sum range as the sale price column. Next, range one, criteria one. So my range is going to be because I want speed ropes, skew, comma, speed rope, comma, range two, which is my city column, comma, my criteria, which is Chicago. I will close the bracket and say enter. Now this has given me summation of sales of speed ropes only in Chicago. So essentially what it has done is, it has found out all the records in these two columns where it is Chicago and speed rope and given that particular sale price is summation. As simple as that. Now the last example that we will take is where we want to find the sum of sales in Chicago as well as Miami. So let's attempt this sum if s, sum range, comma, my criteria range one will be city because Chicago. And now my second Miami is also a city. So I'll take city column again and say Miami. Is this really going to work? No, because what we are trying to tell Excel in a way is find the sum of sales where a record has Chicago and Miami both in the single record. That's not going to be possible. So it will not be able to work like this. So what essentially you will have to do, 
you will have to say sum if s sum of sales in Chicago close the bracket now if you observe I have used sum if s also for a single condition so I anyways use only sum if s I do not use sum if at all because sum if s can be used for a single condition as well but it's up to you I leave it to you plus now I have found Chicago separately same way I will find for Miami separately and because I have added the two values in between sum if s plus sum if s it's going to now give me all sales in Chicago and Miami in a summation so that's all folks that was sum if s and sum if thank you for watching